DA leader John Stiernazen called on the youth to vote. He says they have the power to effect real change to their socio-economic circumstances. If you're basing your expectation on the promises of politicians alone, you're using the wrong criteria. Anybody can make promises and pledges. And over the next four months leading up to the elections, you're going to hear everyone doing this. Because that's the easy part. That's the easy thing to do. The hard part is delivering on your word. And that's what you should be looking at. Not what does this party say, but what does this party do? The party's youth leadership is calling on young people not to give up the fight towards a future where they are job creators and not job seekers. It urged the young to use their 60% vote potential to make their voices count. We cannot be a generation dependent on grants for the rest of our lives. We cannot be spoken about as if we are not in the room. All we ask is for a capable state that will provide an environment for the economy to grow. A government that provides basic services like water and electricity. A government that delivers on its promises and in so doing grows the economy which creates jobs. A smaller political party, the Patriotic Alliance, held its Youth Day event on the Cape Flats. Party leader Gayton McKenzie declined to be interviewed on camera, saying no prior arrangements were made. The SABC was prevented from conducting interviews with two young people that came from inside the venue and was told it's not deemed to be protocol. The party also streamed the function on social media. Mariska Boeta, SABC News.